Hello artists, welcome back. We are in the process of opening up our sketchbook app to make a background for our beautiful whirly gigs. And I'm going to start off with selecting a color of my choice and we're going to use this same color for our entire work of art. But I need to begin with black first. Then I'm going to tape it and I want to tape it so I can play it back to myself. So I click the camera button. I'm also clicking the symmetry button and we are going to use the radial symmetry setting where we have six points coming out from the center. I'm also going to use the pen tool. The pen tool will allow me to set it at around 12 or 13 for size. I also want to change the opacity to black and I'm going to begin by drawing from the edge of the paper into the center. And we're going to use four lines to make our design. I'm also making sure that I go all the way to the edge. So I need to touch up some of these lines that are not going all the way to the edge or all the way to the middle. So I'm on my third line here. I'm going to continue until I have all four lines complete. I'm trying to figure out where to place this fourth line. I wanted to cross one of the other lines and then go in. So I have some touch up to do along the edges. I'm going to open up or make my picture larger by using my fingers and pitching them together or out to enlarge it and I can move it on my canvas so I can work with it a bit better depending on where I have it. Now I'm needing to go back to my tool and find the paint bucket. And my paint bucket will allow me to add the color of my choice. And I've decided to use green for my entire project. And you can see here I can make symmetry with my color if I'd like, or I can just add color randomly. That is your choice. But I'm changing it each time so I have a light version of it, a medium version, and a dark version, or what's called monochromatic colors. So I'm taking the center of the palette and moving the circle to capture one of those colors. Do you notice how I keep moving that to a new color? And if I don't like it, I can just go to the back button and redo. So artists, it looks like I'm all finished. I went ahead and I made sure I got all of the details. So I hope you noticed I used monochromatic colors. I'm gonna play this back to you so you're able to remember all of those steps that we created together. I'd like us to try three different background designs and then we'll start our next step. Enjoy.